and welcome to Grandad Reviews. This is another look at Fuji's dual gain ISO. Does it have it or doesn't it not? We'll be using my trusty X-T3 again. Why I'm doing this again is because there's been a lot of chatter on some of the face, Fuji Facebook groups again saying that, oh yes, Fuji's got dual gain ISO and you can definitely see it clean up, especially using F-Log and it makes a huge difference. And I keep directing people back to my previous videos where I did this test and I'm getting it back saying, well, you need to retest because you're not getting the same results of these big YouTubers and they're all saying this, that and the other. So, yeah, I could be wrong. I admit it. Who knows? You know, it was just a simple test. So I just want to do a kind of real world test. So we're just videoing a very static basic scene in F-Log. We're doing it at 4K, 25p, shutter's going to be at 50th, aperture's staying at F10, and we're going to start off at ISO 640, which is the base for F-Log on the X-T3, and all we're going to do is change the intensity of the light for each step in ISO. So as the ISO goes up, I'll keep the exposure exactly the same, and then we'll compare all those ISOs. I've got sharpening set at zero and I've got noise reduction set at minus four. Now you can't completely remove noise reduction and this is what I'm saying happens in these other tests that the camera's doing in-camera processing. And that's where you see a change. But I'm also going to see if there is, it's got to be a noticeable change. If it's just a tiny bit of change that might just be the scene, the light, and you, you won't notice it in the real world. This has got to be a noticeable change in the noise amount and noise pattern and going from one ISO to up to another ISO. So let's have a look. I've set the scene up. I've done the filming. Let's just stick them in the computer and compare every ISO from 640 to 12,800 with nothing else changing. Exposure is staying the same, everything else is staying the same. And we'll just see what it says. So let's have a look.
Right, so we've looked at the footage on the computer. We've zoomed right in on one small area so we can see the digital noise and how it's moving around and changing. And as I found last time, as you go up the ISO, the noise increases. OK, in between the full stops, you don't see a great di big difference. But there's no real noticeable large change in the noise whether you go when you go from a lower to a higher ISO nowhere on there that I can see that there's a real world noticeable difference now if you've seen can see something different then please let me know but just doing that test say when we've zoomed in and when we look at a zoomed out portion you, you can't see a difference. The noise, digital noise, increases linearly with the raising of the ISO. You would think if there was a dual gain system in place that at some point in there you would see a noticeable change. Whether it's a noticeable as in it doesn't increase any more at that point or it actually drops lower than that point. So if, say, you were going from 2,000 to 3,200 or something like that, the 3,200 would look like the same as the 2,000, or the 3,200 would look better than the 2,000, or at whatever point, you know, from 640 going up wherever in that range in, in the F-log. From what I can see, it just increases, the noise increases all the way up. So that's my conclusion. You know, do your own test as well. It's easy enough to do. Just set up a static subject and change the ISO and see. If you can spot a difference that I haven't spotted, just point it out on where on the video you can actually see it. But from what I can see, uh, there's no change. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. That helps the channel. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, see you later.